So hello, welcome back um, for a new video. I think this time we have a very special treat because this video uh, was done and is produced by, by Stephanie. So the, the production quality will be immensely higher than anything that uh, I'll be able to do. And it's, uh, it's an older shoot, older shoot, it was from last year. Um, from uh, Antwerp, we were shooting with uh, Irina, um, which we were shooting with uh, before. And it was kind of a special location that uh, Stephanie organized through uh, a real estate development agency. Keep, do that again, what you were just doing. Like, now you were looking like downwards. Yeah. When picking a model for an interesting place like that, where you don't have access every day, um, you're a bit more careful. And what we do, or what I do, basically we always choose a model we know already. Some model that we tested with, where we know, um, you know what to expect, that she's reliable and, and that you can get the pictures you're after. And so uh, we chose Irina uh, for this one because we shot with her before and it was a very good experience. And again here it was, was really the right model for the, for the right place. Um, Stephanie did the styling as well, so she went out and, and got some nice uh, pieces, some nice things to wear. Um, yes, and then we went there and, uh, and, and did the shoot. My aim when shooting is basically that the location, I just take a simple camera and you have a model and then that's it. And the rest you basically uh, do on site. You find interesting spots with light. Uh, I don't take any reflectors, I don't take any artificial light. Um, I'm just using what I, what I find. In the past, when I started photography, I very quickly started using flashes and, uh, and used often uh, flashlight in combination with, with available light. Yeah. I was getting a bit tired by carrying all these things around and uh, working with all this, this big equipment. You don't need more than you know a simple camera and your imagination, and uh, and then you should be able to to come home with with, with nice pictures. And uh, I I tried that back then, and it has been my guiding principle since. Yeah. The lighter I travel, so to say, I photograph. Um, the, the better, the more flexible, the faster you can be, uh, the less uh, uh, distraction you have uh, from, from all the techniques and uh, equipment that you have to, to manage. So for me that, that works definitely uh, the best. So it was just uh, Stephanie which did the styling and the filming and then Irina and myself exploring this house which had plenty of beautiful light. Uh, you see, you will see on the video, uh, you know, the different light situations you, you had. And uh, often you can manipulate the light, in this case, for example, by, uh, you know, opening a door or closing a door or leaving it a little bit open, letting a little bit of light inside. Um, often you also have the opportunity to, you know, to use the same light from two different directions. Uh, there's one scene, for example, in a hallway where at some point I, I open the door in the back all the way and then shoot completely against the light and you only see her silhouette, um, which is one possible picture there. But then I also change a bit. Uh, I, I close the door and then change the angle and then sort of you didn't have that opposite light, but now the available light coming from, from the back was, was the, the, the key light, the strongest light. And then you have a completely um, different uh, picture and, and light situation. And I like to do that uh, very often, that uh, even if I'm, let's say, I'm, I'm settling for a scene, I will shoot in this direction, the model will be there doing something, 
Um, I often then, when I'm done, when I have what I thought, what I came for, then I just let the, leave the model in the same place and just walk around, see if there's maybe another angle. And often you're surprised that you, you basically find a, ni a nicer angle or the light is more interesting, um, where maybe also the perspective is, is more interesting. So if you, if you see me in the video, it's always I take the shot that I sort of came for when I started setting this up, but then I start hunting around for maybe additional ones, moving around the model, going closer, getting further away. Maybe in this case also maybe going, you know, into the other room and see what happens if I shoot you know through the door and, and see the model there so I'm, I'm trying lots of things and it's not I def I, I don't go to a location and say okay I have in mind I want to shoot these uh, different uh, shots and I need this shot and this shot and that shot it's really I have uh, you know some ideas in my head like we had for this for this building but then I let myself um, float freely and react to what I find. React also um, how the model is, what her strengths are, what uh, what she brings to the shoot, uh, and then you know go from there. And then just float through the the shoot and and look for beautiful things, beautiful beautiful situations, and uh, try to capture. Yeah, so I took the, the Hasselblad and I also took uh, my new Hasselblad, the, the digital version. This is part of my uh, ongoing search for a digital camera that I hopefully like or not. Or, but I'm, I'm, I'm convinced, you know, seeing the, the prices of film and, and, and processing and everything that surrounds it, um, that it's very difficult to sustain, you know, just shooting film as much as I would love to. And so I, I know that I have to find some kind of digital solution, at least to complement my film shooting. Uh, I can I'll probably make a video about that at some point, my my journey and my frustrations with that. So the, the X1D2 is the one that uh, I bought, used, um, uh, just prior to the shoot. And this was almost the first time that I actually took this out and used it for uh, for a real shoot uh, not test images or something but really took the camera and uh, tried to take the best pictures um, uh, i can um, i don't want to say much about the camera it's a slow camera but as a as a film shooter as a medium format film shooter that's exactly the my speed so i don't need anything faster for such kind of uh, situations um, I, you know, I, I take my time to compose and then I can focus and then maybe I'll reframe, reframe a little bit. So the, the, the X1D2 is, is more than capable for that. And what I can say, the images, the files that come out of it are, are, are very, very pretty. Um, I like them. It's not film, but okay. Uh, you definitely see the difference. But from what I've seen from other digital cameras, I'm quite happy with the, the files that I, that I see from there. So I took the... 501 cm Hasselblad, the film version, sort of as a second camera, sort of a bit, you know, to compare, to try to maybe take the similar shots with both cameras. Um, I had the uh, analog camera on the tripod all, all the time, I think, because uh, yes, the, the Hasselblad 501 is not really, the strong point is not handhold shooting because of the, the, the mirror flapping. So I normally tend to use that camera uh, on, on a tripod, unless I'm somewhere outside. Inside, especially in Belgium, the light is always very scarce and uh, it's always often overcast, very cloudy. And uh, so inside houses, you hardly ever have enough light to shoot uh, with, a, with a fast enough shutter speed. I can do it with the with the other cameras, Rolleiflex, uh, for example, or also the Pentax 645. I can handhold that quite easily to 1 30th of a second, and at 2.8 that normally is enough to shoot in most situations. Um, so yeah, you can see the differences. Uh, you will see the square images, which are from the film camera, obviously, and the rectangles, which are from the X1D2. especially if it's a special location, I always want to make sure that the pictures in the end, that you can tell where they were taken, so that you get a feel for, for the space 
as well. And that's always guiding me. I always want to show where are we, what is actually taking place. We have this beautiful and interesting location, so I want to show it. I don't want to just have close-up portraits that I could have taken in my, in my living room or in the kitchen or, or something like that. I want, I want to have a sense of place uh, when, when taking pictures. 